really it is a system where there's a place for everyone to play. The risk is so large, particularly along our eastern seaboard, that there probably is a role for a federal backstop for a long time to come. The, the, the values at risk are enormous. But below that, there's partnerships that could really use the talents and capabilities of each of the other players. Insurance companies know how to provide customer service and to do ratings and those sort of issues. And there are brand new pools of capital, both traditional and non-traditional, that can come into play. And there's ways for consumers and businesses to be more risk aware and involved, uh, involved in the game, if you will. And uh, also local municipal governments understanding that this risk is rising and making the kind of infrastructure and mitigation investments really as a central part of urban planning going forward. There's a role for all the stakeholders to play here. Well, one of the biggest issues with the NFIP is it's built up an enormous accumulated deficit that its current overly subsidized rates will never pay off, let alone adequately cover the risk that it's taking on. In 2012, uh, there was some attempts to start moving towards reform, which unfortunately were partially rolled back in 2014. Uh, what I think the key developments need to be is some moves that would significantly improve participation in the program and encourage people who are at risk to take mitigation actions, both businesses and consumers, but also local governments. This is a difficult thing. Insurance of any kind is not a happy topic, nothing that any of us go to uh, shop for with any gusto. And I think we have to recognize that we have to talk uh, really straight with people, make them understand the, the long-term vision. I, I do think that that's one of the topics that I talked about with a group inside was that we have to have a long-term vision for where this is going, for people to be on board with some of the difficult things. But I do think that there's, a, there's steps each of us can take, and with, a, with some vision, some courage, and a, and a real solid communication with people, businesses, and governments about where this can take us to a better place to make cities better, resilient places to live in the long term, that we can get through some of the short-term obstacles to, uh, to really a better place for us all.